Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the last video of this series. And um, before I proceed, I would like to explain what we are going to do. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to lock up this um, application. So for example, we'll get rid of these, I mean, not get rid of, we will hide these tables, queries, forms, reports, and everything else. Uh, from this explorer and we will have a form that should open in the background and that stays there and user cannot um, move from that form at all so that will become like main screen when the user will log on and um, that's the only screen user can navigate from so let me demonstrate how to do that but before i proceed let me explain that in this series we have gone through a lot of things so for example i demonstrated how to create tables how to create relationship how to create queries how to create forms how to create reports etc so there's a lot we have done and i'm sure uh, you know you must have learned something now is it the full-fledged sophisticated school management system application no not at all um, it does require features to be added so that was not my entire purpose that i should create the entire sophisticated application that should that no one has time for that honestly speaking but i could so i could demonstrate only what i could in this video series so i hope that you have literally that you have learned something from this video series and whatever learning you have taken away uh, make sure that you apply and you build your own sophisticated applications with this knowledge definitely and that was the whole purpose now let's go ahead and lock this application up lock this user inter interface up so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a form for example we go to main app that's the form but you know it's it, it it doesn't cover the entire user interface and we want to lock up the application so we don't want anything to be visible to the end user so that's the idea so we want to have another form possibly that opens in the background and then on top of that background this form should appear so let's copy this main form right and we'll paste it and we'll give a name background once we have given the name we will go to the background we'll go to the design view and we go to the vb editor dot 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 and we select entire code we paste uh, sorry we delete it and we come back we delete this uh, code uh, not code these elements or objects as well now what i would like to do is i would like to change the color of the background because you know the color of the screen and the other screen main form screen will be same so let's have some color changed so let's go to the let's say this color how about that i think this is better i open it now it's the same size i want this form to be open in full screen so how do we do that well it's quite easy go to design view we go to the event tab we go to the onload event dot 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 and we go to code builder and in here we say do cmd dot maximize and if i open form now boom it opens the entire screen now is it locked no because i can right click here i can still go to design view data sheet view etc it's not locked yet uh, however i what i would like to do is as i said the moment this form opens i want the main form to be appear on top of it as well so how do i do that right now i'm opening background form it just opens the main form does not open automatically so le let's do that as well so we'll go to design view uh, again onload event dot 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 and in here we say uh do cmd dot open form and what's the name of form and that is main f close that now this time if our code works 
if I open the background form, we will see the main form, this form right in the middle of it, on top of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So form view and boom, what happens? Where is the form? Well, it is open. So let's go close this. It is open, right? But it's not showing up on the top. What's the reason? Let's check it out. So you go to design view. We go to other tab. You can see here modal at the moment is no. So we turn it to yes. Now, if I open the background form, it appears on the top. There you go. Now, is it uh, locked? Is this application locked? No, not yet because still I can click anywhere and we are getting layout design view options. So how do we lock it? Well, let's close that. Let's close that. And now we go to the file. We go to options and we go to current database and we come here. Here we give a name to the application. School management system. And if you have an icon, you can give an icon as well. Right now, I don't have it. Display form. Now, from here, we will choose. So, what's the purpose of this? This purpose of this is which form you want me to open by default. When user uh, double click on the icon, opens the application, which form should be appeared? That's what we are going to uh, determine here. So, I want background form to be open by default. We don't want to see uh, any layout view, any data sheet view. We, we don't want to see that. So we remove it. We go to navigation option. Uh, watch what happens here on this side when I uncheck these tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, modules. If I click OK, watch what happens. Gone. Everything is hidden now. And I click here navigation and everything is hidden now allow full menus no allow shortcut menus no so we remove all of these options and we say click ok now we get a message you must close and reopen current database for the specified options to take effect so we have to close the database we have to open a database again so let me do that and let me open the let me close and let me open the database again now i have reopened the database and guess what we get this screen right away so we don't see anything else even you know how do i know it's locked if i right click here nothing happens remember before we used to have uh, a little menu bar showing uh, asking layout view design view right now nothing is happening so user can click anywhere oops not here uh, but the application will not go to any design view or layout view and that's the whole purpose of locking down the database and uh, user can only navigate through these buttons and that's it user cannot do anything else apart from navigating from these buttons and that's the whole purpose of locking down the database so i hope that you have learned something in this video series and in this video uh, please do let me know in the comments below and um, as i said in the start we made uh, tables relationships queries forms reports everything that a application requires so we have done all of that work and uh, you take the learning from here and then you apply and make your own sophisticated uh, well-designed applications for you and for your customers perhaps um, that's the wrap for this series and i'll see you in the next series we'll see what series we can make uh, but we'll see but uh, until then see you in the next video until then bye bye